Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holt. And today we're back chasing Lake Erie walleyes. This time we're gonna do the vertical jig bite on the Detroit River in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, this is gonna be a phenomenal day on the water for us because I believe we've timed the conditions here on the Detroit River just about perfect. Water clarity is good and the fish are up in the river starting to do the spawn. Now we've had some really tough tournament reports over the last couple weeks, but things have improved greatly. Uh, Turbidity is way down, water temperatures are up, and there's millions of walleyes coming out of Lake Erie up into this river system. So today I'm fishing with PJ Vic on the Detroit River targeting Lake Erie walleyes. They're gonna be big, so stick around. I think you're gonna love today's show. Water clarity looks good. Yeah, it looks really nice out here. It's, uh, I know they had a bunch of dirty water leading us up to our trip here, so well, it's a good deal. We both paid attention to that tournament that got fished here a couple, what, was it 10 days ago? Yeah. Two weeks ago? Yeah. That was a crazy event. Yeah, that was some brutal conditions for them guys. Just a little guy. Little, little chin pinner. music. Little chin music. Yep. That's a start. Heck yeah. Fish. Alright. Boom. Come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> The water's murky enough, you don't know what you're gonna no. get until Ooh, that's it's good right one. there. <laughs> that's a good one. Holy cow. Oh, that one's got some steam in it yet. <laughs> Come here, fish. Oh yeah. We gotcha. Come here. Spawned out. Come here, you. We're gonna get a mix like that. What a nice fish. That one just munched. Sometimes they pin it to the bottom, other times they just whack it. And that one was a good old fashioned hammer job. So I'm not keeping fish today. If you watch our show real regular, you know that a couple weeks ago we were out here on Lake Erie and I kept the Lake Erie limit. Yeah. And I'm still living off my Lake Erie <laughs> limit. <laughs> it's gonna be a while, I got a small family, so uh, that limit of fish is gonna last me a while. She almost caught me by surprise. I had to drag Smack. a little. Smoke it? A little tight. No, when she made that run, I was just oh, getting to the drag oh, to loosen yeah. her up and kind of caught me by surprise. Fish. Big one. Heck yeah. yeah. Guess who's here for you, bro? You? Uh, me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Net handle extended. I'm ready. Oh, you got a good one, eh? I think so. Well, I'm ready to go deep for it. There was a leader. Okay. Yep. What you got? <sighs> Oh, oh, jig's <laughs> loose, bro. <laughs> All right, nice fish. All right, that one's go. actually still got a full belly. Some of this, some of that. Yep, some of, this, some of that. Not a bad fish at all. That was just on that steady lift and hold. As soon as it touched bottom, boom. Yep, 
yeah. the typical. Do, do, do. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the colors that we're using today. Um, I'm gonna get this one back first. Uh, we're running a lot of uh, black. Yeah. Black, purple, and uh, as far as that goes, those colors silhouette the best mm -hmm. out of any color. I know a lot of people think dirty water, they think bright colors. Chartreuse orange. Right, which it, it does work in some scenarios, but in a, in a scenario like this, blacks, purples, these fish in this fast current, they don't have a very long time to make a decision. So that bait's coming by them, you know, cruising. They see that from a distance, silhouettes well come in. They bash it. it. Yeah, yep. So, it, you know, we talk about it a little bit, you know, even nighttime fishing. Yep. Black. Right. Because it silhouettes the best. So it's the same scenario here. And uh, most Detroit River fishermen you'll talk to will tell you, black or purple or nothing. <laughs> Fair <laughs> they, enough. So. Well, and, and the size of fish we're catching are fa fantastic. Oh, yeah, so it's beautiful. I'm not about to try to re reinvent the wheel. No, no, definitely not. I'm yep. going to get back on the, okay. on the bow mount here. Rain, boat spray, wind, and if you're unlucky enough, even snow. When your drive to work is a highway of water, you need outerwear that you can count on day after day, week after week, year after year. The Rapala Rain Pro and the Rapala Rain Jacket and bibs are exceptionally crafted using premium materials and fitted for comfort. With the right gear, you can weather the storm. Backed by a legendary name you can trust. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's gonna tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Ice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LiveScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Fish, fish, there we go. Boong, boong, boong. Come here, you. Oh, PJ's quick to the scoop. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. I seen a nice head shake there. Come on, fish. A real nice head shake is what I seen. Oh, yeah. Good fish. That'll do. Spawned out. That'll do. Nice male. We're going to have a mix. Some of both. Yep. Let go. There you go. But if it's uh, either way, female or male, it's a darn nice fish. Got that one right in the very corner of the mouth. Heavy moon eye jig. That's a green tiger and a June bug ringworm. I'll fire that one back. See you bye, fish. Basically, all we're doing is we're just working along these shorelines and we've been very committed to graphing using our side imaging before we stop to fish and came along this section here. You can see there's some natural rock, but then also some riprap that's been added, and it comes down out into 16, 17, 18 foot of water. And of course, those fish are up in there spawning. She didn't hit it hard, but nope. she hit it. Good, good, good. It was just in the process of pulling the boat forward. We're trying to stay in 21, I... 22 foot of water. And uh, the front of the boat was perfectly in 21 foot of water, but PJ was out in 28, so I was kind of feeling guilty. I was pulling <laughs> forward and basically just started to get the boat where it needed to be, and that fish 
cranked it. And now I'm way too shallow. Hey, you're coming down. Yep. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Fish on. <laughs> right on. Oh, 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 oh. Got a good mark for us. All right. Yeah, that was a couple hits in short order there. That will be an all right one, will Yeah, it? it looked pretty good when I seat it. Yeah, I had one just slackline me just seconds before that. Yeah, you were just kind oh, of yeah. dealing with that. There you go. Oh, is that that's a, heavy? a That's a chunker. Yep, she has not <laughs> spawned yet. <laughs> that's funny. How do you like them apples? That's not a bad fish at all right there. My plastic is sheared right off. <laughs> so, all right, get that one back. Nice fish. All right, beautiful fish. So what I was doing there is we're, we're just slipping down the current here. And uh, that was just that gentle lift and hold, which is one of my favorite ways to work jigs, plastics, jigs and minnows, any jig combo when the water's still cold like this. Just real subtle, about three, four inch lift, hold it off the bottom for a few seconds and then a slow drop back down. Um, it, I had missed one just prior to that one on the hold up, which you do get a lot of the big hits on that hold. And that one pinned it to the bottom as soon as I dropped it back. So hopefully we're on to something there. Fish. Got him? Netter? Come here, fish. Black and white. Black and white for the win. Black and white. Oh, yeah. red all That's over. a nice fish. There you go. There you. Thank you, sir. Yep. No. Oh. oh, there we go. Super nice caliber of fish here. I think that's gonna be, that might be a male. Hard to tell, who cares, right? Low 20, really nice fish. I'll throw that one back. All right. So PJ's fishing that black and white moxie, I think. And I've got that black and white pulsar on there. We're both fishing black over white moon eye jig three quarters of an ounce real basic and uh, fish are not super aggressive i mean drop to the bottom pick up kind of hover hold repeat just small little undulations we've been trying snapping ringworms uh, you know fishing those real aggressive have not done anything i've tried ripping wraps throughout the course of the day or course of the morning and really haven't turned anything up so if they want it real slow that's what we're going to give them Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Live imaging shows you what's below in real time with edge-to-edge -edge clarity and no gaps in coverage. All so you can turn must-watch detail into non-stop action. Only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. So the key to 
fish in a presentation like this, of course, is to try to keep that bait as vertical as possible. And what I do is I look at the angle of my line. If the angle of the line starts getting out in front of the boat a little bit, I give the motor a little kick to pull us forward. And if I'm too far forward and the angle of the line's going back like that, I gotta get off the trolling motor or push the boat backwards. Just try to stay over the top of that jig and what that does is it allows you to just kind of work that bait at the same speed as the current in and uh, amongst the rocks down there, which really helps with the snags too. If you start dragging these jigs around too much, I mean, a little line angle is no big deal. You start getting that angle of the line way back behind the boat, you're snagged constantly. Your hookup percentage goes ways down, way down. You don't know what your jig's doing on there. You feel the jig hit the rocks all the time and you think they're bites. So uh, the big thing is I'm not looking at my graph for a speed or anything like that. I'm just watching that line angle, just trying to keep it straight up and down as much as possible. Fish. Ooh, there's a good one. That was just about in the exact same spot as my last one. Was it? It's almost like the ability to drop a waypoint and return <laughs> and to it is to useful. It. Ooh, that's a nice female. Yeah, come here. There you go, fatty. Come here. I think they're just going for that tail, getting them right under the chin. Boop. Thank you, Perfect. PJ. You're welcome. Well, that's my nicest fish of the day. Nice little <laughs> fat, chunky female. I mean, within a boat length of the last place where I caught that, uh, that last fish. Super nice. And that was just an ever so subtle, I mean, it was a doink, but yep. they're not fired up. They're doing just enough. So I stand corrected. Earlier I said PJ was fishing a moxie. He's not, he's fishing a ringworm. And I've got that pulsar on there. The difference between the two is PJ's got kind of an auger tail to it. And this uh, pulsar is more of a swim bait, more of a kick side to side. And I don't think the fish care one bit between you know what the difference no, is. I think I it's think the it's color. color. Yeah. I think it's the black with that little hint of white on the back. Yep. You can really see the difference in the color of the water. That side of the channel, it's green blue. On this side, you can just see the chalk, the, the sediment in the water, which I'm sure is helping us right now. Absolutely. With these high skies. Yep. If we were over there trying to pull fish out of that really clear water, it'd probably be a tough go. Oop, here we go, fish, fish. Nice. Ooh. That one ain't going anywhere, nope. is it? Oh, I like it when they do that. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> there there we, go. we go. All right, coming your way. <laughs> yep. They have an attitude. Those fish has been ferocious. Not a bad fish at all. That was another one of those, James. Just on that pause. Sure. Dink. Fish just cracked it. I think the uh, addition of the orange jig was a good it idea. It was a good idea. All right. Holy smokes, did that thing. That thing looked like it smoked it. Right to the elbow. Oh my. Big head shakes. Oh yeah, good fish. I'm on fish. Should be hooked up real oh, good. Yeah. The way it hit, it just blasted. Yeah. Look at those crazy head shakes. Oh man, it's come getting on, close come on, there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, baby. Yeah. That's a good one. Just gonna let you keep that jig head. Okay. Yeah. She's just finishing up spawning. She just beat the heck out of it. <laughs> That's the kind of jig, or jig hit, us walleye fishermen just love. I'm gonna get her back. I want another one. Oh, see you, bye. All right. So all I did was this morning, we got started right away fishing that black jig head. It was working pretty good. And then PJ had a couple hits just real tight while my black jig head just didn't seem to get any attention. So I switched over. That was just the first pass, the first hover and hold, essentially. Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> oh, that one was a shallow bud. I know he was. That's a, is that a male? Yeah, it looks like a good male, yeah. If it was a male, it probably would be Milton, but yep. nicely done. Wow, he just whacked it too. <laughs> that was on the lift and hold. Well, 
what, what we're working along here, you can see it in the background, is these rock spines that come out into the river. And these fish are kind of nestled up right in amongst all them rocks. I'll get that one back. So what was the verdict on that one, male or female? Female? I think it was a male. I, it, it didn't seem like it had a loose belly. But here in the Detroit River, pretty much any area where you can find a good current seam along with a bunch of rocks and boulders, you know, whether it be a seawall, man-made rock points like this, bridges, uh, there's another popular spot called the salt mines. Any place where that current is deflected and you can get into a little bit slower flow with all these rocks, game on. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15, and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital, and live imaging sonar systems. Featuring two patent pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at norsklithium.com. I'm not like you and my friend. You're not very much like me. Don't miss Reed's Gun Fair, the last weekend of April. The largest try before you buy gun sale in the USA. Shoot factory demo guns for free and compare with over 30 factory reps on site with free gifts and factory cash savings. See shooting shows, games, and fun for the whole family. Long range rifle, pistol, and shotgun demo shooting is all free. Save on optics, clothing, outdoor gear, and even a truckload ammo sale. Reed's Gun Fair is in conjunction with Morrison County Ducks Unlimited. So don't miss raffles, special guns, and more. It's all at reedsgunfair.com. Fish. Yep. I seen that. Not a great big one. No. But I followed the back side of that break and got in shallow. Oh, right, right in. Yep. <laughs> it should have worked a hundred times. This is the only time it's worked. <laughs> Come here, you. Nice. Yeah. Pre spawn. Come here, you. Just grab a hold of that fish. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. I switched. So, we've been talking about dark colors, and I'll be honest with you, that's the dominant pattern. We've got enough uh, fish for a show now, so I had to try my favorite pattern, which is that chartreuse orange core. I'll see you later. So let's talk a little bit about how we're deciding to fish this stretch. So the Detroit River is, it's a commercial waterway, right? Uh, there's great fishing here, but I mean, you've seen some of the big boats go by. If you look at both sides of the river, there's a lot of industry. So a lot of these shorelines have been dredged out and uh, most of those areas, really become unsuitable for spawning. Now, what we're working here is, if you're to go up river about a quarter of a mile, there's a break wall that juts out, creates this great current break, starts to kick the current out into the main channel. And then as you come down the shoreline, like every 75 to 100 yards, there's this beautiful rock jetty that comes out, out to about 18 foot of water. And some of it's huge, right? Great big chunk rock, but there's areas that have this real nice gravel. Uh, so what we're doing is we're just working off those fingers. There's uh, one, two, three, four, probably a half dozen of them. We're just trying to slide in and out and around those rock fingers, uh, staying you know, just inside that current seam, and we're finding some great fish. So this is one of those deals where uh, your eyes are as useful as any map you're gonna use. And of course, the sonar doesn't lie. Once you find an area that you look at and go, hey, you know, a walleye could spawn there, run through there with that side imaging, and you'll know one pass if there's fish laying down in and around that rock. And then, of course, once you know where they're at, you just gotta figure out what's gonna take to make them bite. Just cracked it. 
We're not going to be able to find this jig. That, that jig That's is gone. gone. <laughs> that one just clubbed it. Come here, fish. Yeah. That's a no-doubter when that happens. That fish was convinced. Good grief. The good news is, easy in, easy out. Right on. Super nice fish. I think it's another female. I mean, it, I would say out? 80, 90% of our fish caught have all been female. Yeah. Super nice. Later, bye. Wow. Whoop. That was a whoop. <laughs> that was up 14, 15 foot. You know, right in the middle of the day, yeah. bright skies. It's all about the water clarity. I mean, so very often, you talk to people that fish here a lot, the water clarity is kind of like a make or break deal. You get the wrong winds, east, southeast, northeast, it can just turn this place to a mud hole. And the fish don't leave, they just can't see the baits, you can't catch them. Well, we're blessed with, we've got really good water clarity along the Canadian shoreline here for fishing midday. You know, it's less clarity, fish are gonna continue to bite. And you can just literally look across the channel there to the American side and it's that just vibrant blue water. Yeah. All the dirty stuff's getting blown over here, clean over there. So if we got cloudy conditions or, you know, earlier late in the day, we could go over there, probably catch some fish. Right now with this dirty churned up water, this is the place to be. That was the stuff right there. That was the best hit of the trip so far. Just an absolute kamikaze boom, bomb. So that brings us to the end of today's show. Uh, first time on the Detroit River for PJ and I. Uh, learned a ton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not everything went our way, but at the end of the day, we put a bunch of nice fish in the boat, which was really cool. And one of the main reasons we're here is Lake Erie walleye populations are trending like this. Mm -hmm. In the next two to four years, you're going to see the Detroit River get back to the good old days yeah. of... It's going to be hog hunting. Endless pig. Yeah. Yeah. So we figured we'd better learn how to fish the Detroit River before it got insanely good. Yeah. So when those glory days arrive, we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, from PJ and I, we uh, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.